All animals have the ability to self-medicate from caterpillars to elephants, to primates, companion animals, farm animals. Evolution would have selected against a behavior that caused an animal to seek out poisonous plants. If animals did this, the species wouldn't have survived that evolutionary history. They just wouldn't be here today. And yet there was no sign that these dogs had any infection. You know, they would eat their food, their stools were healthy. You, know, you wouldn't think of offering these remedies that don't affect the mind to these dogs with these intense um, anxious behaviors. And then the light bulb moment was realizing that they were selecting these remedies possibly to help restore the microbiome what happens is when the animal selects garlic or clove, it works in a couple of ways. So garlic and clove stimulate the production of natural killer cells and T helper cells. So this is what happens. They primarily seek out cancer cells, but they also seek out viruses and they seek out bacteria and they would chase it down. And once they get to the bacteria, they inject it with a toxin to destroy it. Wintergreen is a natural painkiller and it's pretty similar to aspirin. You know, the aspirin is synthetic uh, salicylate and wintergreen and birch, uh, their primary compound is methyl salicylate. Surely it's better to use a natural remedy, one that, that works with the body and with our receptors and with our smell and taste perception so we can get the right dosage and frequency to how often we need it than something that's synthetic. The next part of my self-medication journey took me to Africa where I worked with little Shimba. Shimba had been found suckling from his mother who had died from starvation because her trunk had been seathered by a trap and so she couldn't feed herself. When I met Shimba, he had been at the trust for a couple of months, but he was a reclusive little chap. He kept himself to himself and he didn't really seem to join in with the herd or bond to people. So Daphne Sheldrick asked if there was anything I could offer him to help him cope with the loss of his mother. After Shimba selected Angelica Root, followed by Nerali, he completely came out of his shell and wanted to sit on my lap and became incredibly affectionate towards me. 